talk to you today about our can-do reactor refurbishment projects at Bruce Power and Darlington. So first, I'm going to try to explain how a nuclear reactor works in about 30 seconds. So just like any other thermal electricity generation station, we use uh, a, a reactor to heat up water that boils, that makes steam to turn a turbine, which turns a generator and turns into electricity. It's as simple as that. So what I've got in front of me is a can-do style reactor. So all of these components here are the fuel channels that hold the fuel bundles, which is the uranium pellets, that help to heat up that water, which will eventually help us create power. So over here, we have a life-size version of a fuel bundle. This is what holds the uranium pellets, which help to heat up uh, the primary side water. It sits inside a fuel channel and a calandria tube. These are the components that we're replacing. And because of the radioactivity, we have developed very sophisticated robotic cooling that we can operate remotely to protect our staff and to minimize exposure to radiation. What's not shown on this model is the feeder tubing, which is also removed and reinstalled. It's the piping that carries the heavy water from the calandria into the steam generator to create the steam that eventually produces electricity. At both Bruce Power and Darlington, our customers have put together elaborate mock-up facilities where we actually put the tool sets together and we do dress rehearsals with all of our workers so that they know exactly how to use the tools, they become proficient with them, and they know exactly how to handle them when they go to the reactor phase. This allows us to be as efficient as possible once we're in the radiological work area. In addition to those mock-ups and all of that extensive training, one of the keys to success is the teamwork. We have a very, very cohesive team along with our joint venture partner, Acon, and with our customers. It's a fully integrated and very collaborative team that works together to pull together these complex projects. Just to give you an idea of the scale of these projects, between Bruce Power and Darlington, we are refurbishing 10 can-do reactors over more than a decade. At the end of that, our customers will have invested $26 billion in the refurbishments of these units, but it'll give us clean, carbon-free power that powers almost 60% of Ontario for another 30 years. Given the time scales of these projects, we don't just design things once and then put them into the field for execution. We are constantly innovating and looking for more efficient ways to perform our tasks and even safer ways to reduce the radiological exposure. So as a for instance, at Darlington, we developed a new patented PTCT removal tool that allows us to pour, perform several tasks all at once and cut down on several months of outage time. On unit two, we removed both calandria tubes and pressure tubes separately. So we pulled the pressure tube first, and then we came and grabbed the calandria tubes. On unit three, we're removing them together. The pull side head grabs both tubes at the same time, and the push side head pushes on both at the same time, allowing the pressure tube to fit inside it. We're also encapsulating the garter springs and preventing the spread of loose contamination that we had during Unit 2. And that results in a safer, lower dose, and more robust process, and it takes us about half the amount of time. This is a huge achievement for the project right now. We are we're on track. We are consistently hitting the mark, and the tooling has been, you know, operating excellent in the field. We start the PTCT removal process here in the Unit 3 RCC, where our tooling and construction teams work together to remotely operate the specialized tooling that removes the calandria tube and pressure tube together into the flask. Hello, I am uh, Brian Rota. I am the uh, area manager for removal. And uh, previous to this, I was actually the uh, project manager for uh, the uh, entire PTC tool set. So, for the last uh, two, two and a half years, uh, focusing on uh, the design, the build, the uh, prototype testing, uh, the manufacturing of all the tool sets, and 
and uh, getting them ready here for uh, for the actual removal phase. From here, we head into the unit's view vault, where you can see an empty flask making its way through the airlock doors. This flask will be exchanged for one containing a PTCT that was just removed from the reactor case. The combined removal is a joint activity between a pulling gripper that drags the tube sets on the east face, while a ram supports and pushes from the west. The team will perform this task for all 480 fuel channels, and the entire process takes about 60 minutes per channel. This work involves a lot of hoisting and rigging and material movement as the team navigates tight spaces in the vault. On the RWPV floor, the team is responsible for flask transfers, receiving flasks from the vault and moving them onto the waste tooling system, which does percussion with a combined PTCT. The flask then moves to the decontam area where it's clean and prepared for the next trip. SNC Lavalin is the exclusive licensee of Can Do Reactor Technology. For this reason, we are committed to the safe, reliable, and carbon free electricity generation for all of our Can Do reactors worldwide. At Darlington, we finished the first of four units and we're on to the second of four units, having completed the removal phase. At Bruce Power, we are on the first of six units, having completed the removal phase there. We successfully completed Unit 2 of the Darlington project on time and on budget. For a multi-billion dollar major nuclear project, this is an incredible achievement. And it's that which will enable the nuclear industry to continue to provide carbon-free power and be a part of Canada's net zero energy transition. When Bruce Power brought reactors one and two that had been shut down for a while back online. Ontario was able to phase out all coal electricity production. It was the largest coal phase out ever in the world. And it happened right here in Ontario. The Bruce Power and Darlington refurbishments are two of Canada's three largest infrastructure projects. Together, they are creating 30,000 Canadian jobs. SNC Lavalin is incredibly proud to be part of this successful execution of these incredibly complex projects. They take all of our capabilities from engineering and manufacturing to technicians to field supervision and to all of our project management expertise. We couldn't be more proud to be a part of these projects and to ensuring the success for our customers and for all of the citizens of Canada.